Did you know that a tiny parasite lurking in undercooked pork could lead to serious health problems, even in your brain? Meet Tinea solium, the pork tapeworm. This seemingly insignificant creature has a life cycle as fascinating as it is dangerous. What is Tinea solium? Tinea solium, commonly known as the pork tapeworm, is a parasitic flatworm that primarily infects pigs but can also infect humans. It's a flat, ribbon-like worm that can grow up to several meters long inside the intestines. The tapeworm uses its hooks and suckers to attach to the intestinal wall, where it absorbs nutrients from the host. Geographical Distribution of Tinea solium Tinea solium is found worldwide but is most prevalent in regions with poor sanitation and where pigs are raised in close proximity to humans. It is commonly reported in parts of Africa, Asia, Latin America, and the Pacific Islands. The parasite's distribution is closely linked to areas with inadequate hygiene practices, where human feces may contaminate food or water sources, and where pork is consumed without proper cooking. What is habitat of Tinea solium? Tinea solium primarily inhabits the intestines of its definitive host, which can be either humans or pigs. In pigs, the larvae reside in muscle tissues, where they form cysts. When humans consume undercooked pork containing these cysts, the larva can develop into adult tapeworms in the human intestines. Alternatively, if humans ingest the tapeworm eggs, the larva can migrate to various tissues, including muscles, eyes, and the brain, leading to cyst formation. Thus, Tinea solium thrives in environments where sanitation is poor, and where pigs are raised in close proximity to humans. Morphology of Tinea solium, how it looks. Tinea solium is a flat, ribbon-like tapeworm with a segmented body. Its morphology includes 1. Scolex, head, the anterior end, equipped with hooks and suckers used for attachment to the host's intestines. 2. Neck, a short, narrow region connecting the scolex to the body segments. 3. Proglottids, body segments, sequential segments that extend from the neck, each containing reproductive organs. These segments mature as they move away from the scolex and eventually detach when fully developed, releasing eggs into the environment. The adult tapeworm can grow up to several meters long and has a body divided into hundreds of proglottids. Egg of Tinea solium The egg of Tinea solium is spherical, approximately 30-40 micrometers in diameter, and has a thick, striated shell. Inside, it contains an embryo with three pairs of hooks. These eggs are shed in the feces of an infected host and can contaminate soil, water, or food sources. When ingested by a suitable host, the eggs hatch into larvae, which can develop into cysts in tissues such as muscles or, if ingested by humans, lead to infection in the intestines or other organs. Life Cycle of Tinea Solium The life cycle of Tinea Solium involves two hosts. 1. Primary host, humans. Humans become infected by ingesting undercooked pork containing Tinea Solium larvae, cystocerci. The larvae develop into adult tapeworms in the human intestines. The tapeworms produce proglottids filled with eggs, which are passed out in the feces. 2. Intermediate host, pigs. Pigs ingest the eggs from contaminated food or water. The eggs hatch into larvae in the pig's intestines, migrate to muscles, and form cysts, cystocerci. 3. Alternative cycle, humans as intermediate hosts. Humans ingest tinea solium eggs from contaminated sources. The larvae migrate to various tissues, including muscles and the brain, forming cysts, cystocercosis. This cycle can repeat when pigs ingest the eggs from human feces. How Tinea solium causes disease, pathogenicity in humans and what are the symptoms? Tinea solium can cause disease in humans through two primary pathways which include 1. Teniasis. Teniasis is an intestinal infection caused by the adult tapeworm Tinea solium. It occurs when humans ingest undercooked or raw pork containing the larvae of the tapeworm. Inside the human intestines, these larvae develop into adult tapeworms, which can grow up to several meters in length. The tapeworm attaches to the intestinal wall with its scolex, head, and produces perglottids, body segments, filled with eggs, which are eventually passed in the feces. Symptoms of teniasis often include mild symptoms such as abdominal pain, nausea, and weight loss. Some individuals may experience no symptoms at all. 2. Cystocercosis. Cystocercosis is a parasitic infection caused by the larva of Tinea solium. It occurs when humans ingest eggs of the tapeworm, which then hatch into larvae in the intestines and migrate to various tissues throughout the body, including muscles, eyes and the brain. 
If we discuss about symptoms of cystocercosis, it can cause neurocystocercosis, leading to severe symptoms such as seizures, headaches, confusion, and in severe cases, neurological damage or death. Cystocercosis in other tissues can cause symptoms related to the affected organs, such as muscle pain or visual disturbances. What are the lab diagnosis of tinea solium infection? 1. Stool examination. The most common diagnostic test, where stool samples are examined under a microscope to identify eggs or proglottids of the tapeworm. This is effective for diagnosing teniasis. 2. Serology. Blood tests can detect antibodies or antigens related to tinea solium, especially useful for diagnosing cystocercosis when larvae are present in tissues. 3. Imaging studies. For neurocystocercosis or other forms of cystocercosis, imaging techniques like CT scans or MRI are used to identify cysts in the brain or other tissues. 4. Endoscopy. In some cases, endoscopic examination may be used to visualize and identify the presence of adult tapeworms in the intestines. What is treatment for tinea solium infection? 1. For teniasis, intestinal infection, antiparasitic drugs such as praziquantel or albendazole are used to eliminate the adult tapeworms from the intestines. These medicines should be taken with the advice of your doctor. 2. For cystocercosis, tissue infection, antiparasitic drugs, albendazole or praziquantel, are used to target the cysts. Treatment often requires a combination of drugs, including corticosteroids, to reduce inflammation and manage symptoms. Consult your doctor before taking any drugs. In severe cases, particularly for neurocystocercosis, surgical removal of cysts may be necessary. How to prevent tinea solium infection? 1. Proper cooking. Ensure pork is cooked to an internal temperature of at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit, 71 degrees Celsius, to kill any potential larva, cystis or sun. 2. Good hygiene. Wash hands thoroughly with soap and water after handling raw pork or coming into contact with potentially contaminated soil, water, or surfaces. 3. Food handling. Practice good hygiene in food preparation, including washing fruits and vegetables and avoiding cross-contamination with raw meat. 4. Sanitation. Ensure proper disposal of human feces and use sanitary facilities to prevent contamination of soil and water with tapeworm eggs. 5. Clean water. Use safe, clean water sources and avoid drinking from untreated or potentially contaminated sources. 6. Health education. Educate communities about the risks of tinea solium and the importance of hygiene and proper food handling. 7. Regular veterinary care. Implement regular veterinary checks and deworming programs for pigs to prevent them from becoming infected with tinea solium. Conclusion. Tinea solium may be a tiny parasite, but its impact on human health can be enormous. By understanding the risks and taking preventive measures, you can protect yourself and your loved ones from this dangerous tapeworm. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more health-related content. Stay informed, stay healthy and thanks for watching.